everyone. This is Neha from Edureka and in this video I will tell you what exactly is cross browser testing in selenium and why do you need it? Let's have a look at the agenda for the session First I will tell you what is cross browser testing and why do you need it? Next I will tell you how to perform cross browser testing using one of the most prominent automation testing tool that is selenium Finally, I will wrap up the session by talking about the benefits or the advantages of cross browser testing in Selenium. I hope you liked the agenda. Now, without wasting any further time, let's get straight into the module. First, let's see what is cross browser testing. Cross browser testing refers to testing of an application in multiple browsers like Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, so that we can test our application effectively. Cross browser testing is a very important concept in automation because here the actual automation comes into the picture. So consider an example. Suppose say if you have 20 test cases to execute manually. So for you it is not a big deal because you can execute it within one or two days. However, at the same test cases has to be executed in five different browsers, which means there are 100 test cases then probably you will take a week or more than that time. And it also turns out to be quite boring and time consuming. So what if you try to automate these 20 test cases and run them? Obviously it will not take more than one or two hour and it will also be very efficient based on your test case complexity. So this is where the actual cross browser testing comes into the picture. Having understood this now let's see why do you need a cross browser testing in selenium? So before I tell you the need for cross browser testing, let me tell you what is cross browser compatibility. It is nothing but ability of a website or a web application to function across different browsers and different operating systems, which means your web application or website should work absolutely fine across all the different browsers like Chrome, Microsoft, Firefox, Safari, and even across all the operating systems like Windows, Mac, iOS etc and that's where you need to understand the concept of cross browser testing So now let's see why do you need cross browser testing? Basically a simple website is comprised of three major technologies that is HTML5 CSS3 and JavaScript But there are hundreds of technologies that are there in the back end like you have Python Ruby Node.js etc And all of these backend technologies can be used but overall in the front end in the rendering only these three technologies are used However, each browser use a completely different rendering engine to compute these three technologies For example Google Chrome uses blink Firefox uses gecko and Internet Explorer uses edge HTML and chakra because of which same website would be rendered completely differently by all these different browsers and that's exactly why you need a cross browser testing for the better experience you need to do cross browser testing so that the customer will get the same UI of application even if we use different or any browser along with these facts let me tell you few reasons that depicts why we should perform cross browser testing first reason is browser compatibility with different OS that is you need to check the browser compatibility with all the different operating systems Next image orientation next compatibility with the new web framework and also each browser have the different orientation of JavaScript which can cause issues sometimes. So these are the few reasons that depicts why one should perform cross browser testing of a website. Now that you know what is cross browser testing and why do you need it? Let's move further and get the hands on on this. Now let's see how to perform cross browser testing. It is basically done with two methods first manual method second automated method So in case of manual method a business identifies the browsers that the application must support Testers then rerun the same test cases using different browsers and observe the applications behavior and report bugs if any in this type of testing It is not possible to cover many browsers and also the application might not be tested on major browser versions and also performing cross browser check manually is costly and time consuming as well now coming to automated method cross browser testing is basically running the same set of test cases multiple times on different browsers this type of repeated task is best suited for automation thus it's more cost and time effective to perform this testing by using tools 
Now let's see how it is performed in automated way using Selenium Web Driver. If you are using Selenium Web Driver, you can automate the test cases using Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Edge, and many more. Next, in order to execute the test cases with different browsers in the same machine at the same time, you can integrate Test NG framework with Selenium Web Driver. And finally, you can write the test cases to check for the cross browser compatibility of your website. Now let's see a small demo that illustrates how the cross browser compatibility works and how your website works perfectly fine in all the different browsers and in a parallel way. I have already written a code over here. First, I have created a class called cross browser script and I have declared the variable for my driver. And you can see here I have used add before test annotation because this is something that will execute before the test. And the parameters that I will be passing is browser because I need browser to check the compatibility of all the different browsers and that is the reason I'm using it with add parameters annotation. Next what I'm doing I'm setting up browser that is a string variable next. So in this program first I will tell you how to check the cross browser compatibility of one website and two different browsers parallelly. That is I'm going to run my website and perform the cross browser testing and check the cross browser compatibility of my website in Firefox browser and Chrome browser as well. So first what I will do I will check if browser equals to Firefox then what I will do. I will create the instance of Firefox driver using this web driver because I have already declared a variable of that and then I will set the system properties of my gecko driver and this is the path where I have saved my gecko driver in my system and then I will create an object of that. So this is a code that I want to check for Firefox browser next in the else if condition. I'm again checking if the browser equals to Chrome. I'm ignoring the case because I don't need if there is any issue with the case. And again, what I'm doing, I'm using system.set property and giving the path of my Chrome driver. And this is where I have saved my Chrome driver. And I'm creating a new object of the Chrome driver. And in the else condition, I'm throwing an exception telling browser is not correct if in case there's no Firefox browser and there is no Chrome browser. And finally, I'm giving an implicit wait of 10 seconds. Because I want to wait on that particular website for 10 seconds unless and until a page gets loaded. That is the maximum time I'm giving it. It can be even less also no issues. And now I'm using add test annotation. Why because this is what is happening in my test. So first thing what I'm doing. I'm creating a method that is test parameter with XML that throws an interrupted exception because I have used thread dot sleep for four milliseconds. So first what I will do. I will navigate through edureka.co website and then I will hit on the login button. So the first thing what I will do is I will hit on this login button. I want to enter the email name and password hit on the login button after I hit on the login button. I want to search for selenium. So that is what I'm doing here. So first using driver.get I will navigate through edureka.co website and I'm creating a web element called login because I want to find the element with the help of a link text locator that has login as a value. Next I want to hit the login button. So I'm clicking that is I'm giving login dot click next. I'm using thread dot sleep because I want gap of four milliseconds between all the actions that I'm performing on the browser and next what I'm doing. Once it clicks on the login, I want to enter the username and I'm finding the element by ID and this is the value for that. You'll get it as you inspect it over here like this. I'll show you how. So I'm just inspecting an email text box. And you can see I have an ID attribute whose value is SI pop up email. And the same thing goes with password as well. So I'm sending the keys for my username as the email address. And again, I'm creating a new web element for password and locating with the help of an ID attribute with its value as I pop up password. And finally, I'm sending the password. And now I want to hit on the login button. So this is how I'm finding it with the help of an expert because when I inspect on this. So when I inspect this login button, you can see I'll click on the crow path over here and you can see there's a relative expert for that. So I have just copied the relative XPath and pasted it in my code. 
So this is the X path for the login button. Next, I'm going to click on that because as you all know, it is a button and not the text box. And next, what I want to do, I want to search Selenium in the search box. That is this one. So again, I will inspect on this and you can see there's a CSS selector for that, which can be written by using search input. You can also search it with the help of an ID telling search input. And finally, I'm sending the keys as Selenium. And now say I want to hit on this search button also. I'll simply inspect that copy the relative X path and write the code that is going to be web element. I'll give it as search button and I'll write driver dot find element by X path. And this will be the value of my X path and I'm going to end it over here and I'm taking the search button dot click because it is a button. So this is the actions that I'm performing on my website. So that is the reason it is followed by a test annotation. But before my test, I'm just launching the browsers. So that is the reason I'm using it as before test. Now what I have to do, I have to write an XML file of test ng. So I have already written over here. So you can see this is a basic step that will comprise of an XML version. It's encoding and the doc type. So my test name is test suit thread count will be three and the tests are running in parallel. So it is parallel is equal to test. So the first test will be Chrome test. So the parameter name will be browser value will be Chrome and inside the classes. I'm going to give my class name as code or edureka dot pages dot cross browser script. So the package of this class file is co.edureka dot pages followed by the class name. I will end that next again. I'll open the new test that will be Firefox test and the parameter name will be same browser, but the value will be Firefox and again the class name will be edureka dot pages dot cross browser script and I will end the test save this. So now let's run and check the output. So I'll be running this test and dot XML file on a test suit. Because I want to know how many test cases have been run successfully and how many skips were there and how many failures are there. So I will run it on test ng suit. Let's check for the output. So you can see it detected the version of test ng. It is launching the instance of Chrome driver and Firefox driver. And it first launched Google Chrome because that was the first instance. And now parallelly it launched Firefox as well. So you can see even here it entered the login credentials and it got into the page and even here as well. Even on the Mozilla Firefox it entered the credentials and it is giving Selenium search. You can see even on this it first entered Selenium and I can search for any of the courses in our Edureka website. Yes, so here as well. So I can check from the Selenium course. So what happened exactly on the browsers? First, it launched Google Chrome browser. It hit on the login button, entered the credentials for username and password, and then what it did, it gave the search for Selenium on Chrome browser. And on the other hand, even on the Firefox browser, it executed all these actions in a simultaneously with Chrome driver. But there was a delay of two to three seconds because it was the second instance and my Chrome browser was the first instance and that is the reason there was a delay, but both the actions happened simultaneously. There was no any different actions that was happened in the different browsers, but same website was launched. Same locators were used to perform actions and send the values. Yes, so this is how you can perform cross browser testing using Selenium on different browsers. So you can see here on the test suit the total test that was run was two. There were no failures and there were no skips. So I want to add one more browser say edge and I want to again set the system properties and create an edge instance. So this is how I will be adding one more browser in my else if condition rest things will be the same and I have to add one more instance for this as well. I'm going to give it after Firefox. So what I'll do. After this, I will add that. So here what I will do, I will add one more test name that will be the edge test and then the browser will be same. The value of the browser will be edge followed by the class name. So again, what I will do, I will save both the programs and run. So now let's see how the same actions will be performed simultaneously and parallelly in all the three different browsers. 
So it started executing. So first Google Chrome was launched. It will perform all the actions and you can see that Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. Next Mozilla Firefox was launched and again it will perform all the same actions on this as well. And now you can see that Edge is launched. It will hit on the login button. It will enter all the credentials. So here it's completed everything and even on Edge. And now it will give the search for Selenium. So again you can choose from one of them. Simple. So you can see that in all the three different browsers that is Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox and in Microsoft Edge. So you just saw that in all the three different browsers the website worked perfectly fine and performed all the actions on all the three different web browsers. So it means the cross browser check or the cross browser compatibility testing was working fine in all the browsers. So this is how you need to write a Selenium script in order to check the cross browser compatibility of your browser so that you can ensure that your website works perfectly fine in different types of browsers and different versions of browsers as well. So again if you wish to add one or two more browsers you need to write the Selenium script like the way I wrote and you can go ahead and execute the same thing and it will give you the execution as well. But your driver should support all the different versions of the browsers. So just make sure whether the driver supports your version or not and accordingly you can go ahead and execute the test cases. And if you wish to know how to perform cross browser testing using one of the most amazing tool that is Lambda test. You can check out our YouTube playlist wherein you will get a video called cross browser testing using lambda test and also you can learn that as well. So now I hope that you understood how to perform cross browser testing using Selenium web driver. Now that you know how it works. Let's also have a look at the benefits or the advantages of carrying out cross browser compatibility testing. First it resolves the issues that might keep the vital functions of the web application. So what it is a web application that performs exactly as desired in one browser could have some issues when it run in another web browser. These issues include factors that might keep the essential functions of the application from working simultaneously. For anyone who wants to have a website or application with a professional look cross browser compatibility testing is essential. It is not that web browsers on personal computers are a concern here. But with the ever increasing advancement of phone and tablet with their web accessibilities there is also a need for cross browser testing of web application to extend to mobile web browsers and for this mobile web browsers and your tablets and your laptops everything lambda test is also one of the best tool and for all these things cross browser testing using selenium is one of the best suitable tool for all of this next. It makes your web application successful and draws more customers. The times of Internet Explorer or Netscape dominance are over. The more enhanced your web application is and the more customers you have, the more success will be your browser usage. In this regard, Google Chrome has just passed Internet Explorer to become the most popular web browser in the world. If you want to ensure that you don't lose customers owing to the lack of support for the one of these three important browsers, you should consider testing your web application on all the three browsers that is Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Internet Explorer. Next, it not only improves just the look and feel but also the functionality of the application and also it eliminates the need for developing and maintaining separate tests. Because conducting automated tests can be recorded in one browser and then played back in other supported browser that needs new test automation technology. So this is very simple. I hope you understood this. So these are a few of the advantages of using cross browser testing and why one needs to perform cross browser testing on your website. Now I hope that you got a clear idea about why it is important. If you have any queries you can comment in the comment section below or if you want any help with the code or anything you can just comment in the comment section below and we will revert back to you at the earliest. So that was all about the session. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist 
and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!